In this episode of Engineering Career TV, I'm going to answer a question from one of our listeners who is asking advice on how to get out of an engineering job that's not moving him towards his goals. This topic was brought about by a question from Giannis, who is a recent graduate who asks, Hello, I graduated from Cardiff University in the UK as a structural engineer, and for the past two years I have been working in Bahrain as a site engineer. Although I want to work as a structural engineer, the only reason that I followed this opportunity in Bahrain was because I believed that with site experience, I could easily eventually work as a structural engineer. What do you think about this and what steps should I take in order to follow my dream and become a structural engineer? This is a powerful question and the reason that I wanted to tackle it on Engineering Career TV is because I often get questions similar to this one. So this engineer took a job because they thought that site experience could get them closer to their goal, which often in engineering is true. Starting out on sites can help you learn the practical side of engineering. This engineer didn't like it and he didn't see it as helping him and now he wants to get out of his job. And the challenge with getting out of your job as an engineer is, well, it's easy to say, find another job. But there are two problems with that approach. One, sometimes finding another job isn't that easy. And secondly, the more jobs you get, your resume doesn't look so great because you are hopping around. And that doesn't look good to recruiters or HR managers. And that could pose a problem down the road for your career. So what I would say to you, especially as a younger engineer, when you are building your resume, is if you get into a job that is not helping you move towards your goals, try to stay as long as possible and learn from that job everything you can that will help you eventually reach your goals. So in this case specifically, what can you take out of this job that is going to help you to become a structural engineer? And honestly, it might just be making good contacts and meeting the right people right now or just earning some money while you learn some stuff and on the side taking courses or reading books related to structural engineering. My point is that it is always important to move towards your goals, but sometimes not at the expense of jumping around from job to job in the first few years of your career. So be smart about the situation. Stay as long as you can and learn the most that you can and there's nothing wrong with looking for another job in the meantime. If you find the right fit and the second job ends up being long term, you could always say that this current job was just not a good fit for you and you had to make a move. However, I just want to impart upon you the importance of longevity in your career in some jobs versus the actual experience. You've got to balance it and you just don't want to hop around too, too much. So get the most you can out of this job and if you find another job, Make sure that that second job has long-term potential if you're going to make that move. I hope you found this episode of Engineering Career TV helpful. Remember, you can go to engineeringcareercoach.com forward slash ask and submit your question. This show is for you and I want you to take full advantage of it. You can find all of the episodes categorized by topic at engineeringcareer.tv. If you would like to discuss issues like this and other engineering career goals and challenges, I recommend you join the Engineering Mastermind, an online support community we have created for engineers at theengineeringmastermind.com. For the price, you can't get more specific, targeted engineering career advice and assistance. The Engineering Mastermind is not about helping you survive as an engineer. It's about helping you thrive. This is Anthony Fasano, author of Engineer Your Own Success. Please subscribe to the show on YouTube or iTunes, and I'll see you next week.